The project changes name from P31 to 1155. The inside of the car is slowly taking form. did I tell you? Time is in my favor. It's helped me to become known. Now I'm here. A product of your intuition and know-how. I'm the one you imagined and hoped for. The car you drew and designed. I'm the strongest alternative. And now that I'm here, you know you were right. <laughs> January 1978, the first prototype ready to drive. But there are still three and a half years to go before series production. prototype will now undergo an exhaustive testing program. But first, Volvo management will have a look at the car. Questions are asked. Earlier misgivings are upheld. There's still a lot of work to do on the interior. But by and large, everyone seems satisfied. The interior is the last thing to get its final design. Here, colour and material are of decisive importance for the impression people will have of the car. Choices are planned and coordinated down to the tiniest detail. A timeless quality, which will last the lifetime of the car. It took time, but it has to take time. You need time to get used to it to see the car in different environments and in different colours. There must be a little resistance to it, otherwise it feels wrong somehow. In the summer, the car is in Death Valley, California. The temperature is up around 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The main thing here is to test the climate unit, but also how fabrics, materials, gasoline and other liquids react to extreme heat. Meanwhile, the first test series of 32 cars is under production. A few will be used in crash and shake rig tests. Some will be used to test various detail changes in the interior. Now it's time to start preparations for marketing. The first pictures of the new car are taken, but still it's top secret. A 
At the end of 1978, the prototype is put on trial in a very cold climate. Again, materials and functions are tested under extreme conditions. The driving characteristics on winter roads are also evaluated. The car has new trials in Death Valley, the German Autobahn, Australia and the Italian Alps. Mile after mile is eaten up in function trials, giving more and more experience. Data from the long-distance trials begins to pour into the testing group in Gothenburg. Many parts of the new car have already been tested for years, built into other Volvo cars. Crash safety has entered a decisive phase. Components have been tested in simulated crash and strength tests, but now it's November 1978, and time for the first complete car from the test series to hit the wall. Speed must be exactly 35 miles, 56.3 kilometers an hour, when the car hits the concrete wall. That's five miles more than most other car manufacturers use. Ten, four, three. Luna Arnqvist is head of the crash safety center and one of the first to comment on the wreck. As far as I can see, it corresponds to our expectations. It will be a few days until all the measurements from the car and the dummies are evaluated, but it looks good. Of course, we must remember that this is a handmade car. The car from the assembly line will react a little differently. Dynamic safety. This was a basic philosophy behind the new Volvo and one of the major prerequisites right from the start. One of the men behind the idea was Kurt Nielsen. Obviously, the car must prevent serious injury to all passengers in the case of an accident. Thanks to driving characteristics, chassis balance, brakes, steering and road holding, the driver has total control of the car in all situations. The car must never surprise the driver, because then it's a dangerous car, no matter how crash-proof it is. It's a well-balanced car. That means it steers well, even in a heavy crosswind. The rear axle with its subframe is the best combination of road holding and driving pleasure that I've seen. you and I. Now I exist. Now I'm alive. Everything that had to be done has been done. October 1981. The first car from series production. The first Volvo 760 GLE rolls off the line. A little nervous perhaps. There are four months to go before the car is introduced, but I'm convinced this is the best car we can make, perhaps the best car that can be made at all. 
if you take into account everything we can do, want to do, and hope for. Perfect. That's the way it is. <laughs>